Hi, it's Kick Up Kristen, and today I'm going to be reviewing Rihanna's Fenty Foundation and Highlighter. I'm going to be starting off with her foundation. Um, I haven't even tried this out yet. I just told the people at Sephora to match it to my neck. Um, so I don't really know what it's gonna feel like or look like on my face. <laughs> this is the packaging. I'm in the color 340. I also haven't seen any reviews yet so I wanted to keep my bias out of it even though you know it's a little biased because it's Rihanna but as one of these these thingies. I'm just gonna be pumping two drops onto my BB blender. I feel like that wasn't enough. I like full coverage, so I just pumped like two more. Right now it looks really warm on my skin, but the lady in Sephora said that this foundation oxidizes a lot, which means it gets darker after like a couple of minutes. So right now it feels like it's a little too warm for me, but maybe it'll get a little darker after I let it like settle in. You can still see my blemishes and stuff through the foundation, so I feel like I have to layer it. So I'm just going to add another layer and see how this goes. I didn't color correct anything. I don't usually color correct with the Maybelline foundation, so I'm just going to try to do everything that I usually do with this foundation. And sometimes with the Maybelline foundation, I do have to add like another layer on top. I don't really mind it with the Maybelline just because... It's only like less than eight dollars, so. But this foundation is more expensive, so I probably won't use it unless I'm going to like a special event or something. I feel like you have to bounce the beauty blender like really light, or it'll kind of take the foundation away. Don't forget to bring your foundation down to your neck, cause look at this. My neck is really light compared to my face now. I wonder if the lady like matched me correctly because I feel like this is a little darker than my neck. I have combination skin so when I wash my face and or if I get out the shower my face feels really dry but after I moisturize my face then you know it's fine. I don't have like a, like really really dry skin like it doesn't flake or anything like that but you know after I put foundation on I do notice I get oily in like, you know, my T-zone, so we'll just see how this foundation goes. I don't usually like to bake, so I'm not going to bake today. I'm just going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me Pressed Powder. I'm going to take it on my big brush. You can still see <laughs> the powder from yesterday. The reason I don't bake a lot is because I feel like whenever I bake, it just makes my foundation look cakey in some areas, so when I contour, it doesn't blend as well. I don't know why. Like I don't know if I'm if it's the powder that I'm using or if I'm baking too long because I honestly don't feel like I bake that long. I literally will only bake like less than five minutes because I get so impatient. I feel like this is not my color. I mean it's a little orange for me. Because if you look at my chest, I'm really really light on my chest. My arms are a little darker. Okay, so it matches like my arms. I just need to tan my chest because I'm really pale right here. I'm gonna be wearing this foundation all day, so I'll give you guys like updates and stuff like that and how it's doing. Um, usually my foundation like stays when I use the Maybelline foundation. Pretty much stays all day for me. Um, of course, after like however many hours, it'll start getting more, um, you know, worn down. But for the most part, it sticks pretty well. The only thing with me is when I laugh or smile a lot, I get like a smile line will crack. So I want to see if this foundation is really good with that. I'm just going to be doing everything the same that I do with my face and then I'll, get, I'll give you guys updates on how the foundation is. But right now, it looks really good. It looks really smooth. I'm just going to actually contour because I want to see how smooth it'll go on because I feel like I have a little bit of trouble with the Maybelline foundation sometimes. Okay, so I feel like when I did that, 
the foundation kind of like I don't know if you guys can see it it came off a tiny bit like right here but I feel like the found I feel like the Maybelline one does that too so <clears throat> I don't know this foundation is really light but it it does kind of feel like a little cakey it's not like an uncomfortable cakey it doesn't feel like a mask or it doesn't feel like really heavy I don't know when I look at it it just kind of looks cakey you know what I mean? Like it looks like you could just like dig your nail into it and a whole bunch of foundation will be under your nail. Overall, I would say it looks really, really nice. So I'm done contouring. I'm just going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face and then I'll be back. I just finished the rest of my face. All I have to do is put on the highlighter and maybe like put some moisturizer on my lips or something. I don't want to wear lipstick at the beach. This color is called confetti and guys let me tell you i am already in love i didn't try it on myself but i tried it on jay and i was like ah! <laughs> it's a really really pretty purple and how cute is this packaging Fenty. i actually discovered that these are magnetic which is pretty cool I was like just playing with them. I was like in the store, just like a little girl. It looks like this. It's a purple and it has purple and like I think it has a little bit of blue um, glitter in it. It's beautiful. I put some on my cheeks and blend it out. Oh my god. It's so pretty. Guys. Nice. Oh my god. Oh. oh. Yes. Brianna. Okay. I love this color and everything, but for me, it's harder to blend out because I usually like to use a powder. So there are some spots where it's like kind of not sticking, so I just took it up on my finger and it seems to stick better that way. It actually blends really well when I use my finger. This has got to be like the brightest highlighter I that I had, I feel like. I love, love, love the purple undertone. Not even undertone. It's not even an undertone. It's just straight up purple, guys. But I love it. Makes me feel like really spacey, you know? I'm just gonna take a brush and highlight my inner corners. Now, if you have a purple powder highlighter, then you can put it on top. But I, I actually really like the color of this purple, so I'm not going to put any powder on top. Actually, you know what? I, I will wear a nude lipstick. I'm just going to be wearing this lipstick from ColourPop in the color Times Square. And I actually haven't worn this in a while. Usually before I put lipstick on, I like to just moisturize them. I actually do really like this foundation. It makes my face look really hydrated. I just realized that when I was putting it on, you know how I said that it was like really thin and you could still see my blemishes through. If you like light to medium coverage, then this is actually a foundation that you might like because you don't need a lot to put all over your face. But if you like full coverage, you can, like I did, add another layer or another layer. I have a few dark spots on this side that I noticed showed through when I used the Maybelline foundation. Um, and I, I didn't even color correct or anything. And you could barely see my blemishes except for like right here. But other than that, like it looks really, really good. I really love the highlighter. Like look how bright this shit is. I haven't even set my face. So far, I see that my face isn't cracking right here and it actually blended really, really well with um, when I was contouring, usually with the Maybelline foundation because when I'm at home, I wear glasses. So I have like marks on my nose and when I put foundation on, um, you can usually see the spots, but with here, like you can still see it, but it's not as bad as when I use the Maybelline foundation. It actually looks really smooth. I don't know if you can see it on camera, like right here. Right there. Um, you could see it a lot more when I'm wearing the Maybelline foundation. So, yeah, this foundation actually did really good. 
right now it is 107 so I'll check back in with you guys every couple hours and see how the foundation is doing it's been like four hours usually with the Maybelline foundation that I use after a few hours you can see it kind of breaking apart and you can see um, my dark spots right here but with this foundation I don't see anything showing through so that's good the foundation still looks really nice really glowy and like really really nice I haven't even blotted or anything it's a little it's getting a little oily on my nose but other than that it looks really good oh and I wanted to say the foundation looks really really nice on camera like my skin looks so flawless right now and I took a picture on my phone earlier with the flash on it and it looks really really nice I posted the picture um, on my Instagram at Kristen, and I also posted a picture that I just took on my phone on my personal account at HiJang so if you guys want to follow me and check those photos out on Instagram I'll leave those in the description box below so far so good just like I said I should have probably picked a lighter shade or maybe even two shades lighter because right now it's a lot darker like you can't really tell as bad like on camera but in person my face is a lot darker than my, the rest of my body it's five o'clock um, it's only been an hour since my last update but I was inside my house and I don't know if it was because I was using my ring light but then I noticed when just a natural light in my room my face was a lot darker than my arms I don't know if you can tell in the camera but yeah, it's just looking way, way darker on my face. I don't know if it's continuing to oxidize throughout the day or what, but I do feel like my face is a lot darker than my body. Other than that, the foundation still looks really matte. It still looks really good. I don't have any creases right here like I usually do. It is 7.28, so it's been about six and a half hours, and so far, um, I'm at the beach right now, actually. Woo, Malibu! Um, yeah, so the foundation still looks pretty good. I still don't have any creases right here, which I'm really happy about. Um, the only places where I see it getting kind of oily is my nose, like I said earlier. And just a tiny bit on my forehead. And the highlights still be popping. It is about 10 o'clock, and at my apartment right now, everyone's sleeping, so that's why I'm outside. So it's been like 9 or 10 hours, and in person, the foundation still looks really good. Right now it looks super oily because it's like dark outside, but I haven't even blotted or anything and it looks really, it still looks really, really nice on my smile lines. That's the only thing that I was really, really concerned about. I was hanging out with my friend and she said that outside my my foundation actually looked lighter because you know how I was telling you it, it looked darker. She was telling me that my foundation looked lighter. Sorry, my camera's about to die. But then when we went inside the parking garage, she said that my foundation looked darker again. So I think it just honestly looks different under different lighting under like house lights like warmer tones it makes me look orange under white light like what i have right here the foundation looks really nice overall i really like this foundation i haven't blooded at all today my highlights still pop in um the foundation looks really nice like i said it didn't crease in my smile lines it's a go thank you so much for watching don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you are not already stay caked stay fierce and i'll see you guys in the next one bye